Hi, Russ here, Russ PC Music. So we're in the lawn today. Usually I'm doing this when there's water around, but of course, and there is back there, you just can't see it. But anyway, so part of the uh, active lifestyle thing that we talk about on Russ PC Music, living with rheumatoid arthritis and that sort of thing, is to get out and do stuff. I like to, to fly fish and kayak, but mostly I have to do that when I'm alone. So I had to kind of come up with a way to car top a kayak Everybody always watches me do this at the lakes and everything. So I thought I might show you guys how you go to a lake with a big, heavy, long kayak and put it on a car and take it off the car by yourself so that you're not relying on someone else to get to go out and live that active lifestyle. Okay, so we just got to the lake. We're gonna take the kayak down um, from the car and then I'll then show you how to put it away when we're done. So I'll just do the whole process. I'll have to run around and do some of this stuff and take the straps off real quick. And if I get in trouble, I have a hound dog over here to help me. Because apparently he's very interested in kayaks. Okay. So, I usually jump up here. Pull down these support straps. Then I take a rug like a welcome rug that goes on your thing, but it needs to be rubber on the bottom. It needs to be cloth on the top and rubber on the bottom. And I make it so it sits up on my car. This is so my kayak doesn't rub against my vehicle when I'm coming down. So I'll usually jump up here, kind of set it under this, just lift a little so it holds it up. Like that. Then, that'll stay up there. Then, now on my particular kayak, it has a rudder on the back. Most kayaks don't have that. This is a pedal kayak, so it has a rudder on it. So then what I will try to do at that point is sort of angle. I usually pull it back just a little bit. Not used to filming this while I do it, so. So I just kind of come back with it a little bit. That way, if it slides forward, I have some, some room there to, to maneuver it. And then I just begin this process. And this kayak's probably 13 feet long or so, and nearly 80 pounds, so it's not the smallest kayak, and it probably weighs half my, you know, close to half of what I do. So what I want people to see is that you can do this by yourself. And you just bring the nose of the kayak down into the grass. Then you can simply get it off. Not particularly hard to do. Now, so we've been out on the lake all day. Now we want to put the kayak back away. This part is a little trickier. Um, so, straps. So, I usually have the straps because I'm carting it up or back to the lake. So what I'll do again is make sure this isn't going to come down. Again, this is rubber bottom, cloth on it, so that you can get it up there. Now, this is the rope that I use as a tow rope. It's got a trucker's hitch on it that I keep it attached to a strap on the front. But this is how I do it. So I will take the kayak and I know about where to position it. And I'll take this, just a couple of half hitches. And now the kayak can't, cannot slide 
away from me when I'm lifting it up. So, I will simply walk towards the back of it, lift it. Now see how that rope is holding. So it's not sliding. I get it up here, put it here. Now, all I have to do is take this half hitch Slide it up on the roof. Just got to kind of put the English on it and get it up there where you want it. Then I'll go towards the back of the car. Kind of center it up. Cinch it back down, and it's that simple to do it. Anyone can basically do that. I'm not the strongest guy or the biggest guy, but do it. Then I take my little rug, roll it up, strap it down, ready to go.